Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today to learn a little bit more about Holland University. And um, before I turn it over to Danielle, I just want to go over um, a few things with you. Students, your cameras and your microphones are off. So if you'd like to ask a question to Danielle about Holland's, um, please use the Q&A function and she will answer um, those questions through there. Please remember to sign up for additional PACAC sessions at pacac.org slash virtual and a recording of this presentation will be available for viewing on PACAC's website within a week. All right, so I will turn it over to Danielle. Thank you so much. Um, yes, let me just share my screen with you. Hi everyone, my name is Danielle Sawyer. I graduated from Hollands in 2019. So super passionate about Hollands and also very excited to talk with you all today. Um, Hollands University is located in Roanoke, Virginia. Um, so it's a little bit away from you guys, um, but I'm so excited to meet with the Pennsylvania students today. So um, as she said before, if you could please just type your questions in the Q&A and then towards the end, I will have time to answer your questions aloud and give as best as possible feedback as I can so we can get started. So just some quick facts about Holland. So our average class size is about 11. Um, what's great about that is I feel like it's definitely discipline specific. Um, so I feel like in terms of a STEM student, you're looking at your general biology and chemistry classes that first year. So you typically have um, pre-COVID um, 30 people in your class, so that's typically our big classes at Hollands. Um, and then as you go on through your discipline um, towards your senior year, you would have classes that are even closer to the small size. So I say that 11 is definitely a good indicator in terms of like your medium level classes as well as kind of more um, topic specific and as you go further into your discipline. Um, what's great about those small class sizes is our student to faculty ratio of nine to one. Um, I definitely feel like our professors have even more of an open door policy. Um, really, if their doors open, they're completely um, accessible to you. They're accessible via email. And it's just really awesome that you can make these really long lasting connections with professors as early as your freshman year. So definitely when you're thinking about having a great four years, um, thinking about that afterward, it's good to have those good letters of recommendations and also those advisors to kind of bring you into your next steps after you graduate from undergrad. So typically Hollands is historically a creative writing and English school, but our top majors now are English, biology, business, psychology, and art. Um, so we do have over 29 different um, majors at Hollands, but what's really great for our students is you can take a lot of different disciplines um, throughout the four years that you're there. Um, so it really is just up to you on how you decide to take advantage of those classes. Um, also for any of our student athletes out there, we do have eight division three athletic sports. So division three is awesome in the sense that you can still be a, very much a student athlete. So you still have time to work and um, still love the sport that you have maybe have done all your life or even just in high school. Um, but then you have a lot of great time to kind of focus on your craft and really make sure that you have a strong um, degree and major once you graduate. So if there's any, also if there's any horse riders out there, we do have an equestrian team. So what's great about Hollands is we have such a diverse population. So our community consists of 34% students of color and who are Hispanic and Latinx. Um, so what's really great is we love to celebrate all differences at Hollands. I say that Hollands is definitely a campus of conversation. Um, so even though we all come from different areas and maybe even different backgrounds, we still find a way to connect with each other. Um, so out of that community, we have 44 states represented as well as 20 different countries. Our international student population is very big at Hollands. Um, and what's great is we have a lot of different traditions and celebrations that kind of honor either their religions or even just their culture. Also, always since we're located in Virginia, we do have a larger population of Virginians in the school. Um, as for someone like me, who is originally from North Carolina, um, you're still treated as someone that is from the area or even just someone that is far away. So it's definitely a great opportunity to kind of expand your horizons um, and you get to see a new landscape far from home. So a couple of things that we have that is really special about Hollands is a visit grant. 
Um, so obviously with COVID-19, we're still trying to make sure that we are able to keep our students safe. Um, so during these tours, we do ask that you um, adhere to our culture of care. So that means wearing your mask, um, the duration of your tour, six feet apart from your tour guide. Um, but what's great is this actually gives you your first scholarship at Holland. So we do give you a scholarship um, for just visiting on campus. So you would be able to meet your admission counselor, which would be me, um, or one of the admission counselors that are on campus that day. Um, and that'll be your first scholarship, which is always good considering um, thinking about which school is best for you. Um, we have some new academic programs at Holland. So um, creative writing has actually became its own major at Holland. Typically for our students in the past, they majored in English and then they um, eventually started doing a like creative writing concentration. And so we felt like there was so much um, different interest in that. So we made it its own major. We also have students that are interested in politics as well as science. And so we opened up a public health major. So especially during times like these um, with pandemics and stuff, public health is actually a really great major to kind of get into right now um, in terms of like epidemiology and stuff like that. Um, we do have a lot of great graduate agreements. It's important to have a great four years, having fun, getting a lot of experiences under your belt. Um, but we do have other universities kind of for graduate school and also um, if you're interested in medicine for a doctor of osteopathic medicine. So if you have any questions for that, we could definitely um, reach out to you later, um, just kind of with those different graduate agreements. Um, we also just elected our lucky number 13th president, President Mary Dana Hinton, PhD. Um, she is amazing. She is our actually first black president at Hollands and we're just so excited to have her. She's done a lot of great things for us. She's keeping a lot of things the same, but also making sure that she's bringing something new in as well. Something that we also have at Hollands is a student apartment village. Um, so this space is typically for students that are um, upper upperclassmen as well as opportunities to kind of be on student government. Um, so where you see this, we have wraparound porches as well as like lawn chairs and stuff like that. There is a fire pit up there. Um, it's for people that are interested in more like suite living. So typically there's only four to six students depending on which building that they choose. Um, but as for our general students, and typically obviously we would talk more about freshman living for you guys. Um, we do have phenomenal um, living options for our students. So typically our students live in Tinker, which is our um, residential building that has um, in-building washer and dryer. You don't have to pay for laundry while you're at Hollands. Um, you also have kitchens as well as common rooms on every floor. So there's definitely opportunities to kind of get to know people on your hall and also getting to know people on every floor as well. So something that Hollands love to pride themselves on is actually experiential learning. Um, so it's really important that you are learning your craft and being able to know that you're getting a really great um, major and getting a really great degree that you can travel with. Um, but it's also important to kind of have great experiences along the way. Um, so Hollands actually has a Rutherford Center for Experiential Learning. Um, so in that encompasses our study abroad opportunities, individual research, internships. We also have a leadership institute called the Baton Leadership Institute. Um, we also have a community engagement. What's great about all of these different opportunities is actually if you want to just do one or if you want to mix them, that's definitely a great opportunity. Um, in this slide, you see that our students are kind of dressed in like scuba gear and stuff and like with wet suits. Um, they're actually taking advantage of what we have on our campus is called a January term. Um, so it's something that students complete all four years. Um, it can be any one of these things, but in this particular picture, they are actually studying abroad in St. John in the Virgin Islands, but they're actually doing research on coral and tropical fish as well as like environmental things, or even if you're interested in pre-vet, it gives you a lot of opportunities to study the wildlife there. What's great about these study abroad opportunities is actually your financial aid and scholarship travels with you at Holland, so you're not paying an outside cost for doing these experiences. Um, that is also for the internships as well. Um, we know that for a lot of students that find really great internships, um, typically the issue is I don't have a place to stay or I don't have uh, money for food or transportation. Um, we take care of all that for you so you're not missing out on great opportunities. Um, also with our Leadership Institute, we really have an opportunity for our students to really get to learn more about their voice and also cultivate how to talk to people. So it's definitely something that you don't have to complete, but it's always a great class to take. 
Um, and then also with our community engagement, we have a lot of great opportunities with clubs and student government, but we also have a lot of community service access as well within the Roanoke area. So just to talk a little bit more about Holland's commitment to career preparedness, um, three out of four of our students actually can complete an internship prior to graduation. Um, what's great about that is it's not always an internship that maybe you think that um, it will answer all your questions or maybe you know that this is what you wanna do, but it's still a lot of great um, exposure. Um, what's great is it, you do have more opportunities than one, which is what I was talking about with that January term. So over 50% of our students actually complete more than one. Um, we've had, had students to do four as well as even summer internships. So it's completely dependent on what you're interested in doing while you're at Hollins. Um, what's great is, like I always say, it's good to have fun, but also be prepared for the career world. So 95% of the class of 2018 was in graduate school or employed within one year after graduation, which is super important. So also something that um, it's good to think about is at Hollins, we have a 95% of students who graduate within their four years. Um, so while you're doing all these great experiences, it's also important to know that we still keep you on track to graduate. So this is really important in terms of if you have outside scholarships or anything like that, we wanna make sure that you're able to take advantage of that and complete your discipline as well. Um, a lot of people ask why a women's college and so at Hollins um, and there's also been studies show that women college alumni report feeling more prepared for their first job and career change and advancement. Um, we're not saying that everything that happens in your life will be perfect because you go to Hollins, um, but it definitely prepares you for the highs and the lows. So just to talk a little bit more about um, women college graduates, even though we only make up 2% of the college graduate population, um, we comprise more than 20% of women in Congress. Um, and also we comprise 33% um, of women on Fortune 100 boards. So we really like to say that we're putting um, our students in great places of leadership and also having an opportunity to kind of um, reach their goals after Hollins. So women colleges are more highly effective than all other colleges and universities in helping you discover your voice, define your goals, and build a plan to achieve your aspirations. Something that I love to share with students is that I definitely think the Danielle that I was five years ago is so different after my experience with Holland. Um, I studied abroad, I did internships in New York City. Um, so there's just a lot of great opportunities that you're able to take advantage of um, as a student with Holland. So here's a great picture of our students. Um, that's our graduating class of 2020. So we have traditions at Holland um, where we decorate robes. Um, we also have traditions throughout the year. Um, we also have a lot of great clubs. So we have over 20, um, about 29 plus clubs at Holland. So I always say, if you don't see a club now, it's good to kind of look in advance, or even if you have a couple of friends that are interested in the same thing, it's definitely not uncommon to one semester it's not there and then the next semester it is. So it's definitely an accessible um, process as well. So kind of talking more, shifting our focus to the Holland's application. So how to apply is that first you submit your application for us for admission. Um, so we are on the Common app as well as we have our own application if you go to Holland's.edu. Um, just it doesn't it, there's no good or bad application it just depends on preference typically our students like to do the common app because they've already submitted some um, applications with other schools so they don't have to fill out any of their um, information again um, we do ask that you send in your high school transcript um, this can be unofficial for admission review process um, and we also know with COVID it's kind of hard to have access to official um, documents like that as well um, for the 2020 to 2021 applicants, we are test optional this year. Um, so if you have taken the SAT or ACT, you're more than welcome to share those scores with us, um, but it's definitely not required. And then also the last thing that we need is a secondary school report, which is completed by a counselor, just talking about what classes are offered and kind of what you take advantage of. And also, or you can do a letter of recommendation, which we ask that it's always someone that really knows you. So either a, a teacher you loved or maybe a coach or maybe a boss. Um, this is really just someone that can really speak highly of you and your experiences. So you hear a lot of these terms kind of going around in terms of like when it comes to college applications. Um, so obviously there's early decision, early action and regular decision. Um, obviously the early decision 
as you can see, the date is coming up very quickly. So these are the students that are completely interested in Holland and are ready to completely sign it off. It is a binding contract, but there are some things that you can take advantage of, like we have some study abroad things as well as first pick in your first year seminar and stuff like that. Um, so it's definitely for students that are very ready to commit to Holland. Early action is also very popular in terms of you're still a very high interest student in our applicant pool, but it still gives you an opportunity to kind of shop around and see what's the best option for you. Um, there's definitely no right or wrong application. It just depends on personal preference. Um, early decision, I mean, regular decision is kind of something that students look forward to if they're planning on retaking a test like the SAT or the ACT or they wanted to have their first semester senior year grades to be considered in the admission process. So definitely something that you can think about in terms of when you're thinking to apply to Hollands. So another thing that we always talk about in the college world is financial aid. So on one hand, on our slide, we have merit aid and scholarships. And then on the other side, we have financial aid. So that merit aid and scholarship side, this is for um, merit aid is based on your grades and GPA and um, we are test optional this year, but in the past it also includes your test scores. Um, so this is solely based on academic purposes um, as well as what we call as money that you don't have to pay back um, in the future. So this is things that you can definitely take advantage of. There's so many scholarships out there that you can definitely sign up for and apply to. And actually um, later on, I'll actually show you a slide of all of the um, scholarships that Holland offers, but it's really good to whenever you see a scholarship to make sure that if you're applicable to definitely apply. On the other hand, we do have financial aid. Um, so this is something that for our students is literally either um, loans, you have unsubsidized and subsidized loans. Um, that's something that obviously we can go into a different um, time about that because that's a very long extensive process, um, but also on that side what's helpful is um, the FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. Um, so this helps um, the universities kind of see what your family can contribute to your education, as well as seeing about the Pell Grant. So it's definitely something um, if your family wants to, they can definitely apply. Um, and if you're interested in kind of giving government aid, it's definitely something that will help in that process. So here's a list of all the Holland scholarships that we offer. Um, so this is kind of going towards our left side of my screen previously. So the Holland Scholar and Recognition Awards. So this is um, what I was talking about in regards to merit aid. Um, so this is something that's based solely on, you know, your transcript as well as kind of the different factors in our application. Um, we also have our Batten Scholarship. So this is a scholarship that is full tuition um, for our top 10% applicant pool. Um, this is for the students that have very high GPAs um, and have stellar grades and have been taking rigorous classes throughout high school. Um, and so they don't just right off the bat get it. It is a competition. Um, and so this year we actually are doing an essay. So if you have been already um, admitted into Holland, if you've gotten an email saying that you've been um, requested or selected to do this, definitely take advantage of that because that's definitely um, something great that you can put towards your financial aid package. Um, we also have what is called um, the Creative Talent Award and the Math and Science Award. I call this our left and right brain awards. Um, so Creative Talent is for students that are interested or had in the past done things in regards to dance, creative writing, theater, um, as well as like vocal music or even an instrumental music. Um, so this is great for students. It's a really easy process of application and then we actually have on our website um, what the other steps are in terms of like um, submitting a portfolio if you're doing student art or if you're doing dance to submit a video. Um, and with math and science, this is solely for students that are interested in kind of majoring in those things. Um, so we ask that you say what classes you're in, a resume, and also um, kind of what you're interested in. Um, even though I said that music was in Creative Talent, we also have a sole music award for students that are specifically interested in music. Um, so there's other different incentive for students that are wanting to major in that. Also for our students that are Girl Scouts, we do give scholarships for students that have completed a gold award or silver or bronze. Um, we do have Raise Me. So if you can make a profile on Raise Me with Holland, um, you can gain micro scholarships that go toward your financial aid package. 
Um, again, trying to talk about that visit grant, we definitely encourage you to um, visit. It's something that sometimes can change your mind about a school. It's really obviously to also keeping in mind your safety, but if you're able to, I would definitely recommend it. Um, something else that we have is a FAFSA filer grant. Um, so students that have already applied um, previous to January 1 and also have filed their FAFSA before January 1, we do give a scholarship just for submitting that FAFSA. Um, we also have legacy scholars. So this is for students that have had family members in the past go to Holland. So a mom, an aunt, a sister, a great grandmother, anything like that. Um, we like to honor that as well. And also if you know an alum from Holland, we say that Holland's alums are everywhere. Um, they can also submit a referral grant for you as well. So just ask me, or if you have a chance to talk to another admission counselor at Holland's, we can send you the link for that as well. So we are committed to affordability, as you can see with my long list of scholarships. So a scholarship guarantee of at least $24,000 in grants and scholarships annually for all first year students. Um, in the year of 2019, 100% of our first years received financial aid and scholarships. So it's really important that you know that we don't want that to be the thing that deters you from going to our school. And just to talk a little bit more about um, others that felt this way, we also were ranked um, number 28 as one of the best colleges offering the best education for quality at that price. So we want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth when it comes to education. So just to talk a little bit more about our other accolades. Um, so we do, we are number four most politically active um, student body. As I talked previously in my um, presentation, we are a campus of conversation. So obviously with everything going on, we just like to check in with each other and also kind of learn different perspectives and also give an opportunity to have that way that we are able to get to know each other and get to know each other's differences. Um, we also have a really great alumni network. Um, there are people that are there for our students in terms of networking or internships or even a place to stay. Um, they're literally everywhere in the world. We have alums in New York, we have alums in London, Australia, really anywhere you can think of. So if you're ever planning on visiting a place, we always have a Holland alum somewhere around there. Um, we also have a really active student government. Um, so at Holland, everything is really student led. Um, so we really try to make sure that the student voice is very honored on our campus. Um, we also have a really great college theater. So if you're interested in theater, that's something I definitely would want you to take advantage of. Um, so definitely, if you have any more questions, please ask them in the chat box as well. Um, and we're also among the nation's top 25 best schools for internships. Um, so like I said before, even if you think you take an internship and you decide, oh, that's not for me, it's still great information that you didn't know beforehand. So we really try to make sure that we give you as much information as possible. So that concludes my portion of my presentation. Um, definitely feel free to contact us. That is our general um, email as well as our phone number. We are on Instagram as well as Twitter. Um, we do have Facebook as well. And if you ever wanna watch really cool videos about different disciplines as well as our residential halls at Holland, um, our YouTube is also really a great resource as well. Um, so that kind of concludes all of my talking. I'd love to hear um, any questions that you all may have, and I'm going to check now to see if we have any questions so far. Hey, I think um, we're good on the questions. So thank you, Danielle, for uh, presenting with us today. And just for the students in the room, um, there will be a quick survey as I kind of close out this meeting. And again, if you want to revisit some of the things Danielle spoke about, um, please look on PACAC's website for that recording. Please sign up for additional sessions if you're interested at pacag.org slash virtual. And I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. Thank you, Danielle. Bye.